Jim from Easy Tankless, and today we're going to discuss some of the common mistakes that home installers and plumbers alike often make when putting in a tankless heater. Another common mistake that we've been seeing is that people are disconnecting the old tank heater. Maybe it has a, a connection like this that goes into the heater with the cold and, and the hot is coming out on the top of the tank. They have those two lines then, the water lines that they've disconnected. They've removed that tank heater and they've located the tankless heater in another place. Their, their deduction is that they take those two lines and join them together. Well, that's actually not correct. If you're, if you're not going to be putting a tankless heater in the same location as the old tank was, those two lines, keep in mind, one is cold water coming into the tank and the tank heats that tank full of water. That other line going out is your hot and it goes into your hot circuit, the hot side of your plumbing in your house. So if you just join those two together, then you're putting cold water into your hot circuit. And then when you have your new location for your heater, your tankless heater is at an exterior wall, you've moved it. You have hot water coming out of one side of it into your hot circuit. You've got cold water going into the intake side, inlet. You also have your old location now plumbed in cold water into your hot side. So you have a combination of two things that's going to happen. One is that as hard as your tankless heater works, it's not going to produce enough hot water because you're blending it with that old cold water circuit that you've now inadvertently plugged into the hot. Or you've got pressure coming on both sides. Keep in mind that your cold in to your tankless is pressure pressure in cold coming out it's going out into the hot pipes if you've got at your old location that cold pressure coming into your hot it's coming back at your exit point on your tankless heater so you've got pressure on both sides pushing against each other so in in that situation the tankless may not even start up. We've had several instances where people call us and say it won't fire up and then when we ask them to turn off the cold side of their heater, the intake water side, turn off the water and take loose the exit hot water side, the pressure is pouring out. Well, they've pressurized their hot system somewhere else and almost always it's that error that I speak of. And I'm sorry in this video that some of this is long-winded, but it has to be explained because these are situations that we've seen. These are our primary problems that we deal with in our technical department with people who are installing a tankless heater. And this is not something that's related directly to our product line. This is a situation where we're changing technology. It doesn't matter what brand of tankless heater that you have, these things I speak about in this video apply to virtually every type of a gas-fired tankless heater. Thank you for your attention and consideration.